you lift up your hands today? Lift them up high up. Father, we are together again declaring our love for you. So special, so kind, so gracious to us. Where could we be, Lord, without your mercies? You continually reached out to us when we are down. And you lift up our heads. And for this, we thank you. We honor you. We glorify your name. We thank you for your presence in this place. We give you honor today. In the name of Jesus. And all the people of God said, Amen. 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 Could I ask you please to turn around and tell your neighbor this way that I really love you, even if you don't know them. Let them choke over that word. Beautiful people. Hey. As we and we worship you. Beautiful. Thank you so much, beautiful musicians. May God bless you. Hallelujah. We are so excited that you are here today. How? Yeah. Hey, but twinkles. Beautiful people. Anya got married yesterday. Wow. What an enjoyable wedding. I ate the meat, I ate the rice, I ate uh, whatever was on the plate. I ate the cake too, small one. Mm. Yeah, I preached to my heart out, mm. my lungs out. Yeah. you know, Gonzabu and Zuchumair. But in Kedua, in Kedaling and Little Emma Black Mambas, in Fendiswa, and Little Black Mamba, Queer Banzin, Seatin Manging a Black Mamba, KK, Seatin again a Black Mamba. Yeah, it's so good to see all of you today. On a Tuesday evening. Sisugu, how are you? Goriko, how are you doing? How's ZBC? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, good. How is it going? I'm going to say a victory. It's a tag of one. Good boy. Sis Chichi, how are you? Lavanta Roma Kong 7. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a joy this weekend to preach at uh, my father, Apostle Ken. Beautiful steps. Yeah. Yeah, we were spoiled. We cried a little bit of tears, tears of joy and mm, tears of, uh, I don't know, as we traveled memory lane and mm, beautiful. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm, yeah. To be in a place where you were nurtured. Mm. That's a father, that one. Yeah, it's good man. Mm. Good man. I love him to bits. I love him with everything. My love, my lungs, liver, intestine. What else is inside of me? Pancreas. Mention some other part. Hey, don't go beyond the belt. Go up. <laughs> The HQ, but what, what else? Uh, stay there. Up. <laughs> and then Sunday, we consecrated a bishop. Yeah, 
with full regalia, full vestment from the mitre, cope, top gown, the sword, the ring, eh, the Bible, eh, everything. Yeah. What an enjoyable service. I want to thank my team that traveled with me here, the musicians here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I thoroughly enjoyed or did consecrating a bishop. Mm. It's a serious matter where to check out, find out whether this is right and so forth. Yeah. So we found yeah, he's a good man. Yeah. I met many people. I think I met friends. I've never met friends in a short space of time like I did. In Guev, Louisiana, about 78, 80 years. Mm -hmm. So I really, really enjoyed my time. I could have stayed up to six days, seven. Mm meeting these elderly people that have rich history of the gospel. But yes, it's good to be back home today. I'm feeling more fresh today than I've ever been today. May God bless you. Please take your seats today. Thank you. We continue with our topic, but today we are going to zero in on the remedies. But let's run through what we started saying some one and a, um, one and a half months ago. First scripture is Hebrews 10 verse 38. Let's read that. Now the just shall live by faith. But if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in them. Jeremiah 14 verse 7. O Lord, though our iniquities testify against us, do it for your name's sake, for our backslidings are many. And we have sinned against you. Nine. Jeremiah 2 verse 19. Your own wickedness will correct you. And your own backsliding will rebuke you. Know therefore and see that it is an evil and bitter thing. That you have forsaken the Lord your God. Touch your neighbor's shoulder and say, don't forsake the Lord your God. Scripture 10, Malachi 3, verse 7. Yet from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. And therefore he says, return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said, in what way shall we return? Scripture number 15. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Say amen. We started by describing what backsliding was. We said backsliding is called looking back. Looking back. It's also called point number four. Sometimes it's called sliding back. Hey. Furthermore, it's called point number five, falling back. Number six is called defection. When you defect from the army, you have left others standing and you are defecting. It's highly treasonous to do so. And number eight, murmuring and complaining. And then uh, going back against what you once believed. And then number nine, a mercenary kind of spirit. Mercenaries are soldiers of fortune. They just fight anywhere to get an RTGS, anyway, they will fight. Yeah. 
just to get RTGS. Number 11, falling back into some puddle of wickedness which they seem to have escaped. Lesson two, we talked of warning signs of backsliding. We said, number one, the focus of your heart changes from the things of God to the things of the world. It's very easy to change focus over time. And we picked number two. You become more concerned about yourself rather than the things of God. And you begin to want to worship self rather than God. We are told Baba Chile preached beautifully well on Sunday. Please thank you. Stand up Baba Chile. Let's put our hands together for you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Were you wearing the Man United t-shirt? It was inside. Yeah. It's better that it was inside. Mm. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you for preaching. Yeah. It's never easy to preach in this big place, isn't it? Mm. And these people are good people. Did they say amen? You felt encouraged. We are so excited. Yeah. Mom, what do you think? Out of 10, if you are to gauge, don't. Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank We don't preach for points, isn't it? Yeah, we don't care whether you give us points or not. As long as we hammer the word into your thick skull so that you understand and you're transformed. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You become more concerned about yourself rather than the things of God. We pick another point. You no longer have a passionate love for God and his work. We must develop and ask God to give us a passion for his work. A passion for his people. It's a miracle to love people. People are not easy to love. But once you begin to love them in spite of their shortcomings, you know you're going far. People have shortcomings. All of us have, including the person sitting next to you. In fact, the person next, sitting next to you has more shortcomings than you. Yeah, just look at them and say, I think I can see I'm better. I have more shortcomings than you. But there you are. The Bible says you shall know them by their love. Love one another. Mm -hmm. Yep, to love people is an amazing thing. Hey, I'm asking God more and more, teach me to love your people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a miracle to love people of God. Even with all their failures, just to reach out to them and love them. And hey, that's what counts, isn't it, at the end of the day. Say amen. Yeah. Yeah. Then you quench the voice of the Holy Spirit. These are some of the signs. Quench the voice of the Holy Spirit. And then we pick another one. Your church attendance becomes less important to you. Mm -hmm. Sunday every time. And oh my God, going to church again, going to church, going to prayer meet you know something bad is happening on the inside of you. David says, I was glad when they said, let us go to harvest, our, sorry, into the house of the Lord. <laughs> ah, even David knew there was a house somewhere. Ah, and he was glad to be going to the house of the Lord. You no longer respond to altar calls. Yeah, no longer respond to altar calls. Hey, this weekend for me was a weekend of crying. I cried on Friday. I cried on Saturday. Mm, it's good to cry. Causes of backsliding. What did we say? Lesson number three. Causes of backsliding. Spending time with the wrong people. There are wrong people that you shouldn't spend time with them. Yeah. If I were you, pick up your phone now and send them a WhatsApp and say you're a wrong person. I Goodbye. Don't call me, I will call you. I don't want to hear from you. 
I don't want to hear from you anymore. <laughs> wrong people. How many have wrong associates? Lift up your hand. That's where lies begin here. And that's where backsliding. How many have wrong associates? Uh, thank you, Laura. Cut that, Laura. Mm. Wrong associates. You have wrong associates as well. Uh, thank you. Thank you for being honest. Mm. What about you, ma'am? No wrong associates. What about you, Sis P? What about you, Baba Chede? What about you, ma'am? Mm. Brigadier, no wrong associates. Uh, senior, no wrong associates. Uh, ma'am, no wrong associates. Mama, no wrong associates. No. Mama, no. Una no wako nga le, una puna no wako. Una nga nga pa. Una nga 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 Any wrong associates there? A little bit, yeah. Man and son tine mo. Kati mo ba ni? Eh? Eh? Mo ba ni? Who are they? His mother there. Who are they? <laughs> wow. It's a good thing to have your mother in church. She keeps on checking on you. Is that not so? Uh, hey. Oh, yeah. Yours, I know. Hey, sometimes I forget she's your mother. Now, mm. Mama, Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, Spending time with wrong people. When you spend time with wrong people, you find yourself in big problems. Spending time in the wrong places. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't go to wrong places. There are many right places to go. Mm. More right places to go than wrong places. Yeah. Hey, Baba Nyava, good to see you. See you, Baba Nyava. Baba Nyava, you're going to be able to get my rate. I'm going to be able to get my rate. May God bless you. Thank you so much. If you see, are they red? I was told they were red. Are they red? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Are they red? 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 Yay. Spending time in the wrong places. We say to you what you see does matter. Number four, I'm just picking some of them here. Worldly success, success without God. Watch out when you're succeeding and the God factor is a minus in that success. Please watch out because any success without God ultimately will put you into problems. Number one, you'll be puffed up. It's very easy to be puffed up when you're successful. Especially when everybody thinks you're successful. Yeah, watch out. Don't even take it to mind. When people begin to praise you, mm -mm. but your problem is when you praise us, you will more. You will more. You will more. You will be more. You will be more. You will be more. So watch out. Very important to watch out. Know especially when you are doing well. Know how to take those praises and direct them so that you remain with your feet on the ground. Yeah, You are more stable with your feet on the ground than with your head and feet floating in the air. Yeah, more stable, more balanced because then you know you are just a human being. Say amen. Lift up your hands and say, I'm just a human being. I need God every day. Every day of my life. In the name of Jesus. 
Yeah, I've desired to drive a Mini Cooper. That's my favorite car that I've desired to drive. I'm glad I have it now. I parked it today. I drove. Yeah, a Mini Cooper. That was my favorite car. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's not a, I'm announcing it because it's not a big car. It's just a small car. Mm. I, I can't. I just feel good inside of it. Mm. I parked it outside there. Katilini motes in an inchalus tenders landi be so when you have. Just a small car. That's my car. Mm. I remember I told you that that's my kind. I've driven many cars, but Mini Cooper was always in my heart. I prayed to God, Lord, help me with a Mini Cooper. Mm. Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper. Hey! I won't born in my pocket. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even my wife looked at it and said, Ah, you know, mm, yeah, Mini Cooper. Laos, I drive the Mini Cooper. So otherwise, I won't be announcing. If it was a big car, I wouldn't be announcing. Because you would say, ah, but in Kuruma, what did you announce? Yeah. Hallelujah. My prayer is that all of us will drive here because it's, it's a bit far, isn't it? To come in here. Mm. And uh, you, Lausa, drive. I'm going to say, I'm going to Range Rover. Mm. Fortune. All right. is drive. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm liberated from the love of cars. I don't, I don't really bother. Mm. When are you driving a pickup, eh, mm, It's a pickup. Sugu, are you driving a pickup? <laughs> Wealthy success, success without God. Watch out for that. When you see that, you know there is problems right there. Shallowness, being shallow. When you are shallow in whatever you do, in your thinking patterns, shallow in relationships, you know one of these days Things are going to be bad. Let's move on. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. God never made men and women to have nothing to do. Please find something to do. He gave your hands, your head, your feet to work. Find something to do. Find something to do. And there Proverbs talks of slumber. The way you hear will affect you. Again, your hearing patterns. All right, let's go today and start where we are supposed to start. Mm -hmm. Right. Results of backsliding. Proverbs 14, verse 14. The backslider in heart will be filled with his own ways, but a good man will be satisfied from above. I want us to pick it up on point 10, please. Point 10, are we done? All right, we begin. The backslider in heart will be full of his own troubles. There are many troubles that enter into our lives when we completely turn away from God. 
troubles that we thought we had dealt with, suddenly they crop up and begin to manifest in our lives. Things that we thought we would shut out begin to attack us. Things that we thought we got over with, they begin to attack us. It could be pride of life. It could be many other things. It could be wrong associations. And then all these things come flooding in your life and they give you troubles. Troubles at times come in varied sizes. And when they do so, even at night you fail to sleep. Yeah, because they will torment you right through the night. Uzulaling ama 3, 4 a.m. Ubutongulomenanu fagili chekanda. But you will be thinking. You become a worry warrior. You are worrying continually. And therefore, when you are like that, you are not a good person to be around. If you have a spouse, your spouse feels it. Because you are irritable. You are short-tempered. You're very critical. Everything else, if food is placed before you, in the Abu Pegi look, and therefore you are full of frustrations and trouble. And you will find that only the devil is near you when you are worrying like that. I pray that in a time of trouble, you learn to cast your cares upon God. For he careth for you. And he cares for me. Because many people, when they are troubled, you can tell. Oh, mm. And many people, you think, oh, Musalo. But we are super. Problems would cause everything that has been hidden on the inside of you to come out. You become nasty. You become mean. Even people that try to greet you and they have a small talk with you. Because you have troubles. So backsliding causes you to lose the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord flies away. And when joy flies, there's a vacuum there. And what replaces the joy of the Lord are all the troubles that you thought you had overcome. It's difficult to have troubles. As times, some troubles are not manageable with your own strength. They will sink you low. Many people develop ulcers because of troubles. Many diseases, migraine headaches because of trouble. Yeah, from here, they, 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 back, 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 back. Because of troubles. Stress comes in. Blood pressure shoots up. Mm. And you're so miserable. Even your complexion is affected by troubles. Skin is smooth, brown, Suddenly, many troubles age people overnight. We know over time all of us age. Everything goes south, isn't it? Mm, everything. <laughs> when we say everything, we mean everything. Everything. Whatever. Everything goes down. If you want to experience fast aging, then entertain problems. Yeah, they will kill you. You begin to develop acids in your tummy that will mess you up because you are troubled. I pray that you don't go back. Say, I don't want to go back. Say it again. Say, I don't want to go back. Isaiah 57 verse 21. There is, oh, watch the scripture now. There is no peace, says my God, for the wicked. Yeah. 
There is no peace. No peace at all. Says God to the wicked. I pray that wickedness is far away from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hands and say, Spirit of wickedness, be far away from me. In the name of Jesus. I am delivered from the spirit of wickedness. Don't sit down to plan the demise of someone. Don't pick up a phone or a WhatsApp and send messages to plot against someone. To plot against their downfall. I wish they would fail. I wish they would. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Hey, I have had over these five years people that w- would wish that I would fail. I can tell you that. Yeah. Some of them are in ministry like I am in ministry. Mm. They would wish, oh yeah, we will fail to, to, to build. Can you imagine? So never be in a position like that. Where you see someone successful or on the right path to success. And sit down and plan. Or sit down and wish they will fail. When you do that, you become a witch. The spirit of witchcraft comes upon you. (laughs) Many people think witches are those that fly naked on a broom by night or midnight and so forth. No. Witches are wearing spectacles. Witches are wearing at times... (laughs) No, I'm not talking about, I'm wearing specs. I'm just, I'm just preaching. I'm just preaching. Don't take it to heart. I'm just, I'm wearing specs myself. So, yeah, I'm just giving an example. You are a good woman of God. And you too. Uh, Who else is wearing specs? And you too, dog. Especially you, dog. You are far from being a witch. How how could you fly, dog? You fall down. How? It's impossible for dog to fly. <laughs> so, no, no. We are trying to rip to reverse. I am just saying, now look at me. I'm deviating, I'm going somewhere. I'm just saying, witches are modern people that have bad hearts. Bad hearts. So when you hear of someone's success, force yourself to rejoice. Even if you don't like them, go to them. You may start in the flesh and say, Baba, into I wish God will cause you to do more. And more and more and more. Guess what you're doing it in the flesh? Next time around, the spirit picks up. Suddenly, third time around, you feel connected to this man. Hallelujah. You feel like his success is your success. When you are like that, you are not far away from your miracle. Amen. Can I teach you a key to the miracle? This is one of the keys to the miracle. Can you see why I love this man here? This man. Stand up. Yeah. This man is Bishop Josh. When we were starting here, our initial plan here was to build this 4,000 thing and live the three and three and, and, and five. One day we were working. Is that a true story? True story? All my stories are true. So as we were going, as we were going outside there, it was a bush. We were walking and we began to talk. But why? Why four? Initially and then destroy the walls again and seven. Then we said, oh no. Let's go for seven. Let's go for ten. Instantly let's go for ten. We just agreed as we walked. Mm. This man has wished me well in every walk. Mm. I know he doesn't like to hear this. He's a, he's a, bad, he's a bad receiver like all of us are. Mm. But I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a He's come in here and prayed. He says whenever he feels refreshing or his spirit to be refresh, he comes here at night alone just to pray. He says when he comes here to pray, he feels things are lifting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I am from this one. Hey, Kulungula Gubusis. May your church enlarge and increase. May the borders of your tents so grow and increase. Stand up, let's pray and pray for this man. Let's pray for him. Minama prophet Zama Pumanjaro, you have to listen to Jacob and Pana Sukzi. Pam sisters, even if your hand is skinny, lift it up. Dear God, the God we have served over years and over time. The God of Israel, the God who remembers, the God who holds us in the forefront of his mind. I pray, dear God, that this man will be so elevated and so anointed by the Spirit of God. That the word of the Lord will be in his mouth. That the blessings of God of enlargement, increase, multiplication will be his portion. That indeed his name will be spoken not only far, but far and near, Lord, and everywhere else. That his church will increase in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare it in the spirit realm, inasmuch as he has refreshed us, Lord, refresh him too in the name of Jesus Christ. Refresh everything to do with him, his family, his church, his leaders. Multiply him and keep him strong and healthy. Release a new oil in his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Say amen and amen. Fundis. May God bless you. I, I never planned to pray for you today. I just was moved as I was talking about different people here. Thank you. What were we talking about here? What were we talking about? The, the wicked hearts. Mm. I find that more Africans have wicked hearts towards each other than the other races. Other races work together. Indians, if they see another Indian struggling, they will help them. Chinese are the same. Whites, you notice, are the same. Yeah. They'll see each other, they pick each other up, and then they help each other. Ha! Avagitila! Ha! Ha! It's like you want to succeed alone and see others going down. And then they all you call you chef, 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 chef. Why not succeed with everybody lifting up? Why not as you succeed, lift your brothers up? Lift another one up so that we all are succeeding. Here in Blawai, there are over 1.5 million people in Blawai. Not this church can afford to house all those people. So we need other churches building like we are building. <laughs> so that together we are full. What is the word? Together we are winning souls and housing the souls. Whether it's a different denomination from us, as long as they are doing the ministry of the work, let it be so. In the name of Jesus. Say amen. If you entertain a bad heart, it's not far away before you become a witch. You'll be a witch. If you don't fly, you'll seek to kill other people and poison them. And therefore, it starts from there. Mm. I pray that you keep your heart clean. I pray that as you struggle with someone's success, which is natural, fight it. So that tomorrow you are approaching them and saying, you know what? I saw your shoe. I really like your shoe. Or I saw your hair from Brazil or from India. I really like it. Mm. Or I saw the way you preach there. Yes, you really blessed us. Because then that causes you to miss God and causes you to backslide. If you are good neighbors with your somebody next to you, go to them if you see something good. Could you stand up, mom? Would you please stand? Yeah, stand. Her house is behind the church. Yeah. This one, right here. That's her. Yeah. Everything is face brick, face brick, face. Beautiful. I admire it myself. I once approached the husband and said jokingly, I want to buy this house. 
Uh, the man says, yeah, you can buy it at a good price. Beautiful house. I'm not so sure whether she will agree to sell the house, but <laughs> you will not agree. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So when you carry that attitude of wishing others well, God will water you. There is nothing that will elude you in terms of blessing because you, you have a good heart. If someone's kids pass at university, even if yours has failed, go to them and say, you know what, well done. Watch God begin to do a miracle in your life. I spent years praying for people's kids. Yes, I was saying, Lord, I'm blessing other people's kids. I want my kids to succeed too. When you do that with God, your kids succeed. Yeah, they follow. They have no choice but to succeed. Yeah. When you see someone's child getting married, go there with a present. Yeah. And he got married yesterday. Yeah. Hmm. Don't go and say, That's the main aim. <laughs> Have <laughs> 75 years ago. <laughs> the whole aim is not the mistakes that you see during the day. It's the fact that these two are now married. And they're enjoying themselves. I pray that some of these ladies here that have been waiting for some time will find a dude very soon. Yeah. That's my prayer for you. Yeah. I am coming for your wedding. Yeah. I may not preach at your wedding, but I will come for your wedding. So that's our prayer for you. In Jesus' name. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, Yeah, turn to the other one and say, Number 11. The backslider in his own heart will be full of his own cares. Hey, Indonga. Your own cares. He has turned back to selfishness. Hey, it's a frustrating thing to live with selfish people. He counts everything that he has, that God has blessed him with, as his own. Mm -hmm. He talks about himself 24-7. Mina, me, me, mina, mina, me, me, mina, me, 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 mina, me, mina, 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 mina. Mana pe lulale la banye. Can you touch your neighbor and say, this is really mo mina waku mana pe la. Mana pe la, mana, mana, mana. And therefore, he is a private maximizer. Maximizer, rather. <laughs> he looks at himself. And therefore, he wants to elevate himself in everything that he does. It's a pity when a man, a woman of God, looks inward and seeks to elevate themselves. And never seek to put themselves down. You know, the king with God is, when you put yourself down, God lifts you up. Don't fight with God when he's lifting you up. Laosus pagamis. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and say, Lord Jesus, I know I'm very proud. Deliver me from the foul spirit of pride in my heart. Number 12. The backslider in heart will be full of his own perplexities. Having forsaken God, having fallen into the darkness of his own folly, he'll be filled with doubts in regard to what course he should pursue because he is in trouble. 14. Wait, wait, wait. We're dealing with number 13. 14. The backslider in heart must be full of his own disappointments. 
in as much as you disappointed others, you'll be disappointed too. There is nothing that can send you to an early grave than major disappointments. Mm. Hey, disappointments. You feel like the whole world is caving in on you and you're disappointed. Disappointments come in different ranges, small ranges, medium, but big forms of disappointment will sink you because attached to disappointments are spirits of depression. Yeah, you've been disappointed for a long time because you wished others bad, disappointments come. God will make sure that they succeed in spite of what you wish. And therefore, disappointment sets in. Ah, who has been disappointed in a major way here? Lift up your hand if you have been disappointed. Yeah, disappointments are real. Very real. Some people are disappointed by guys or ladies. You think you're walking with this guy and the guy leaves you. Hey, it's painful for a dude to leave you. After some time. Yeah, he leaves you. And you told everybody, this is my guy. He's a kind guy. Oh, yeah, I love him to bits and so forth. And he walks away from you. You feel like the whole world has just collapsed around you. So you need some people that will come in and say, Mumuntu nje kupelu za huya futo mnyumuntu. Abantu ngabantu. Disappointments are real. Amen. At different levels. Hallelujah. Some are disappointed at low, is disappointed at low level. Some at high level. I know a relative of mine disappointed by a guy. He lost his mind. She lost his mind, not he. She lost his mind. She lost his mind to a point where she talks alone. Ah, she calls the man's name. And the man's name starts with the M. Yeah, she imitates the, fo the footsteps. Yeah. And then on, his, on her own, she says, come in. And when she says, come in, she says, how are you? So and so, and mentions the name. She had invested a lot in this relationship. And the man walked out. Mm. Devastated. When the man walked out. She had gone in her heart. One girl in this In the was time to break it here. And she got disappointed. It's been over 35 or to 40 years of disappointment. She has never wanted any man other than that man. So the day the man walked out, her life stood still. Life never moved. Mm -hmm. Never moved. Disappointment. Uh, disappointments. I don't know what has disappointed you, my sister, my brother. Mm. But we all understand. And God does too. Mm. Especially when you have invested emotionally. When mm. yeah. hey. Invested. But if it's just a boyfriend, don't get in there, Puma. But you want to move to say, we take you, what Palala Makads say, you can get in there, all that's a chica. Sorry. And the ladies are devastated. But men too, I've met a friend of mine. The lady just changed her mind. Because mm. someone better came, she thought. Mm. Someone who seemed to have more assets. When I say assets, I'm talking of real assets, not, not any other assets. Assets. Mm. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're not breaking the spirit of the lady that left it. No. Just the spirit that entered into, it, into him. He is a nice, handsome guy. The lady has walked away. Suddenly, the devil says, something wrong with you. And the man just lost some weight overnight. Shh. A man of confidence. In the Bazotando. Hey. Zimnand in the Bazotando. But it's a bit long. Hey. Mbano's always experienced in the Bazotando lab. It's a bit long. 
experience. Oh, okay. Half half. We will check along at half half. Like Ezekiel's water, ankle deep, knee, loin. They no put together, not so right. I noticed that ladies that have never fallen in love before. Ah, bangam tolu chaka. I no new. Veterans. For a long time. Never more than five percent. Eh, but a veteran. We have a good year humble, but there is be five percent. Zalima, <laughs> Zalibaan, <laughs> <laughs> I like the questions he's raising. Mm. Mm. So that man that I'm alluding to here went in with all his heart. But the lady was a wise, well, not a wise, the lady of the world. She knew how to survive. He just thought, no, and some time. Can I tell you about relationships? Ladies can pack you for some time. Yeah. Ladies are very clever. Ladies can move with five guys without committing. 50, 50, sorry, 5%, percent, two and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half. Level nine, okay, yeah, I'm very packy. But Lena, level in Kenya, 100%. You know, only pay five percent, five percent, five percent, five percent. Yeah, that's a that's a lady. Ladies are powerful. They know this way. Yeah. Ucho no shy, no shy. No, usa fikuti ni musewe ni kona pan. We ni mwenye we agu low, we ranki kona pan. Disappointments, ladies and gentlemen. I pray that when you are disappointed, you come into the house of God. One day, there's a king called Uziah. He lost his clothes, friend. Guess where he went? Yeah. So, he went to the house of God. Uziah died. In the year was King Uziah died, Isaiah came into the house of God and he saw the Lord. Whenever you are disappointed, come into the house of God. You will lift up your disappointment. Say amen. I try and be a little bit of a son. I will have a victory. Yes, to my elevate. At least at the beginning of the son. Disappointments. How many have been disappointed on this side before? You have been. Go. Yeah, you have been. <laughs> 
you have been. You've never been disappointed. Mom, you've never been disappointed. Hey, mom, you've never been disappointed. You have been. Hmm. Say you've never been disappointed. It's the way of life, but it's how you deal with disappointment. Some people then say, God, I don't want to see you. I'm no longer going to church. That person opens the door for the devil to come in. And the devil sweeps you away. You are at your weakest if you are disappointed and you have no God. Ah, you are at your weakest. In fact, the rope is not far away from you. You will admire every rope that you see around your neck. Because then, when you're disappointed without God, depression comes in. And depression just makes things worse in your life. Yeah. Please, stand on this point. Please stand. Say, Lord Jesus, I choose today to break the spirit of disappointment and depression in my life in the name of Jesus while you stand the backsliding heart must be full of his own losses you lose a lot when you backslide you lose a lot firstly you lose good friends in church this world has no genuine friends the people that are genuine are found in church you may complain and say church people are like this and that but I tell you Go outside there and see how mean people are. The people in the church are kind. They're very gracious. They will stand with you. They'll be with you. Yesterday you saw Enya people's wedding, Enya's wedding. People came. Yeah. Many people came. Some came with presents. Transmits to our presents. Mm, to our presents. Yeah. But the world doesn't do that. Mm. I pray that you understand that turning away from God has losses, great losses. Please, stay in the Lord. Amen. It is when you are outside the Lord where you develop some scars. Yeah. Some of them are permanent ones. Mm. Permanent scars. My God. Mm. Stay with God. Amen. If you fail in the house, pick yourself up and move. Yeah, there will be others that will lift you up and encourage you. Hallelujah. They will phone you yeah. and encourage you. Yeah. If you fail outside, when you have gone and disappear and go outside, I'm at Timon Wonkela no go a caster. Sebuya. And then I'm aware of Gena Pagat. Yeah, they will mess you up. And there will be many losses when you leave the Lord. Stay in the Lord. Whatever you do, stay with God. Say Amen. So you lose much of your time because of backsliding. You lose your reputation because of backsliding. You lose your influence and everything else. Point number 16. The backslider and heart will be full of his own crosses. Mm, you're carrying many crosses. There's only one cross to carry. The cross of Jesus Christ. But then you begin to carry so many unnecessary crosses. Yeah. So many unnecessary crosses. Having lost his heart, the performance of all religious duty is a cross to his feelings. You begin to carry so many crosses. It's a painful thing. Number 17. Are we number eight, 17? Number what? 17. The backsliding heart will be full of his own tempers. I temper any echo si hampire. So that in mam. Nabasumanyo mama babang a puzu quaz. Bagaba quaz or our bacas. Bako in a part of it. Having a tad. Ukumbruto mama lavo, nanigay, look at a quaz, and nanny bang up. Nancy's bavagachelly chill. Little is in mam. I was sick. I was sick as sick. Because it's a woman from this way. But he. Woman from this way. I was a woman. I was a woman. I was a woman. I was a woman. And I was which part to cut. I'm telling you. Oh my God. 
Oya salu ala luto. Oya tu papa manje. Oya na mani pro po enti pants la po ti. Kati pe mbano chi pe na pan. We to pro po ne hau. Oya kazu kala zui ba biru. Ubusu kagera. Sebe usigi. But thank God, Baba Fundis. Sibo unkuru kuru sis nomzi. Manu ukacha na shuwa. Manu mesa sa ufaga chile chile. Hey, jikuru upi max mam. Pati umo mama Baba Antona ba sila pana. Only Jesus brings transformation into our lives. Say amen. I don't know where you could be today without Jesus. Hmm. Hey, she's pretty. I don't know where you could be. Hey, do you think now we are with Jesus with a pan who's shining? Who's this long as a moon for many years ago? I, 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 many years ago. May have been a Christian for some time. A color to see. Hmm. I am a Uma was good, Greg is in cleaning to my little pricket, yes, in this way. That is going to wait to Joe and Panqua. If you be alive, that's a good point, actually. If you be alive. But look at the grace of God. Hey, you are one of the most ladies that have experienced the grace of God beyond measure. God loves you. Can you live to a little person? Oh my God, where could we be? Hmm. Full of our tempers. Having forsaken God, you'll be sure to have much to irritate him. Once you forsake God, Indus none also must steal it. Hey. So we are in some bendis. So who will and Jane wash coach? So we are not to try the food. Mas vai o chefe o chefe ai 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 suna terá curu o ele chefe o não o ele chefe a group of friends came to me and said bishop help our friend our friend sleeps in that bar behind please go and help I was moved that they approached me to help they were bad guys themselves but they were they were seeing this guy Westa I said I let the bishop say not to go to I Luanum kanu tu luana ay ay ay. Feri sugu siye tu sugu siye tu sa stay sugu approach. I said, tell me which place where he drinks. I'll go there. Na nyang gede pao. Na nzeti tinga ngu tinga. Nye niche ngu tinga. I I umuntu das. Mbono si zani la video. Oh. Ompe fumo. Yeah. When I arrived, they told me, no no, this guy doesn't sleep here anymore. He's not no longer here. He's no longer here. Is moved. But it is his friends that came for help. They said, we backslid long back before he did. But when he joined us, it's like he was compensating. It's called compensation effect. He was doing it ten times uh, to catch up with us. But in trying to do that was a child. Hey, a child. 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 I say valid. I say full. We have a pro receiving. Hey, chibukum dara. So many irritations come. Mm. I tried to reach to this guy several times. I was phoned by one influential man in in another country and said, "I need this man of yours." I called him, and they gave him money. Said, "I'm planting this, and I'm, this is what I'm believing for you." I'm believing that you'll make it. Oh, no. Ever say, Geni Lumun in the wrong direction. Please, turn around to your neighbor, somebody that you don't know, and say, it is my duty starting today. Mbambisanth. It will be my duty starting today. Hey. 
If I hear that you have gone back, I will be the one to look for you. I will never give up on you. I will be after you. I will never, never let you go. Never let you go. Please, promise someone that. Because when a person is in that condition, they need you to come there. They don't need you talking about them. They need you to lift them up. Already they are in a cage. They can't come out. They need three of us, four of us that say, neither do we condemn you. Please come back. Don't sin no more. But please come. They need you. They need me. Talk to your neighbor and say, should you see me down? Please don't leave me there. Come and help me. Come over and help me. Yay. Number 18, the backslider in heart will be full of his own disgraces. We are backslidden. You hear voices that say everybody is condemning you, which is a lie. People love you. They don't condemn you. But because you are full of disgrace, you won't believe that. So you need these carers to come to you and lift you up and say it will be all right. Sometimes when you bring someone who is backslidden, stay with them. Even up front, you have a bishop. You have a bishop. Oh, we will welcome them. Welcome them. Yeah, welcome them. Bring them. They need you to walk with them. Sit next to me. Please. Yeah. Until they gain their strength. Then when we, your heart is broken. And you think everybody is looking at you and saying, we know you, wicked one. And it's the way of the devil to speak to your mind so that you are full of disgrace and you want to run. But we are not those that will let go of you. We want to lift you up and give you another chance in life because God has already done so. Yeah. Number 19. The backslider in heart will be full of his own delusions. I think we ended here. Then that's where we are ending. His own delusions. Mm. So because you, you have an evil eye, your whole body will be full of darkness. Even small decisions that you could get right, this time you are missing them. Completely. Completely, completely. Eventually, evil has gotten into you. You lose your job. You lose your friends. Close friends, they walk out of you. Mm. People that loved you yesterday, they feel they must walk out of your life. They say goodbye, they shut that life. And you have no one of kindred spirit that can talk to you and help you. Everybody has gone, they've tried, but the devil has consolidated in your life to make sure you have no chance of ever coming back. It's very rare that when you're in a pit of hell to cry and someone hears you. Very difficult indeed. You are alone at night and thinking. And at times like that, the nights are too long. And you are alone. And Christians don't see you. You become invisible. Mm -hmm. You used to be smart, sharp, clever. Everything we are kidding. And then you age overnight. Mm. Difficult things. Am I painting the heart of a backslider here? 
very painful. Can you imagine? Everybody thought you were very cool in church and they loved you. Suddenly you have turned away from them. Taken a wrong route altogether. You have left. And vultures are ready for you. They would cheer you up, but they're merciless. They don't care. May God help us all. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and say, Lord Jesus, through your Holy Spirit, help me today, tonight. Help me to never forsake you, never leave you. Even though I may fail, may I rise up and move forward. I would rather fail going forward than fail going backward. Deliver me from a wicked heart. Deliver me from a heart that is full of envy. Starting today, I will celebrate with my brothers in their small successes. I will celebrate with them in the name of Jesus. I will deal ruthlessly with the spirit of envy and jealous strife and everything that is bad. I wish others were. I'll pray for them. If I see any form of success, I will against my flesh pray for more success in their lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hi, Basalo. Livangele Langju. I want you now. I'm going to choose these people here. Come, you, are, you happen to be sitting up front. Right from there, right up to you. Come and stand with me here. Thank you. you we're facing this side. Don't worry, you happen to be sitting up front, so we have chosen you. Okay. For the purpose of this exercise, these are going to be our leaders today. They are going to choose three members from the crowd, and then you form a circle, and then they are going to be your leaders in prayer. We are praying in groups today. It's the type of prayer that we use when we want to teach some people to pray. Okay. Pick your first three anyhow randomly, Baba Nya. And you pick your three. Pick your three. Pick your three. Pick them. So you will be four. In other words, you are picking three, ma'am. Then you become four. Then you make a circle. And then if we find that there are still more to, to remaining, we will increase by another two. All right. Have you picked your three, all of you? Three, three, three. Yeah. We are, we are going to stand, but the group leader, in case you get tired, they will find chairs for you. We can always take this. All right, have you got your three? Right, let's add now. Thank you. Oh, you've got your three there? Okay. Ah, then come, please. Come and fit in anyway there. Make sure you are number five in that group. And then number five, number five, because we are few of us. Number five. Baba Tori, where are you going? Number five, number five here. Right, number four, number five. Who else? Ah, we are done. Mm -hmm. We are done. There are prayer items that are coming on the screen. Come, come to, there are groups there that have four people. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm used to standing. Don't worry about me. I can stand for eight hours. But you, I know you may not be. Should you feel you need a chair or chairs, just get that. But there are five items here that we are praying for. We are all starting as groups. Prayer item number one, the backslider in heart will be filled with his own ways. Proverbs 14, verse 14. Okay. But what is the, verse, what is the prayer item there? Pray and ask God to fill you with his own ways. So,
So we are praying collectively that God will fill us with his own ways, not our own ways. Our own ways are deadly. Okay, let's pray. Group leader, you are making sure that every one of us is praying here. The lady has a baby. I just wish you give her a chair. To, you want a chair, ma'am? Yes, otherwise it will be heavy for you. Who is the group leader here? There, there it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You can sit. Any one of you that needs a chair, you are tired, just grab a chair. It's fine to do that. But let's start standing, those that can stand. Down the line, I know you need a chair. We are praying that God fills us with his own ways, not our own way. Let's pray. Father, here we are. We are asking, Lord, that you fill us with your own ways. Many a times we are full of our own ways. And our ways are not biblical. Our ways may not be godly. Our ways may not bring a blessing. Our ways may bring sadness and misery. Our ways may bring frustration. Help us, Lord, with our own ways. Deliver us from our own ways and set us free in the name of Jesus. Here we are, Lord, crying before you, asking for your grace and mercy. Grace and mercy in the name of Jesus. Fill us, Lord. Fill us with your own ways. Fill our minds, fill our hearts, fill our spirit, man, with your ways. We ask all this, Lord, merciful to us, but gracious to us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Our God, our God, thank you. Thank you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Point number two. Point number two. Point number two. Backslider and heart will be filled with his own enmities. Is that, is that the right point? Yeah. Okay. And therefore, a prayer item is pray and ask God to mend broken relationships in the following areas. Parents, leaders, siblings, relatives, church members, workmates. There are many Christians that have broken relationships in these areas that I've mentioned, from parents to leaders to siblings to relatives, church members, workmates. I wish you could put number two there so that they can know what we are praying for. Has it disappeared? Is it coming? I'm going to put point number two. Take on the screen. Okay, point number two. Prayer item number two, please. All right. They will put it while we are praying. We are praying for restoration of relationships. Because when you are backslidden, you break all these relationships. And many people do. Pray, please, that these relationships... Yeah, pray and ask God to mend broken relationships in the following areas. Let's pray. Father, assist us to bring about restoration. In these areas, Lord, of our lives, with our parents, God, because we are far away from you, we end up cutting relations with our loved ones, with our parents. We end up cutting relationships with other leaders and leaders in our churches. Because we are far away, Lord, we end up destroying relationships with our siblings. And there comes blockages in the name of Jesus with our relatives, Lord. Help us, help us, Lord, as well to restore relationship with other church members in the name of Jesus Christ. May it be so with our weakness. May it be so with many, many others that we have broken relationship in the name of Jesus. We thank you for that restoration that cometh from you in the name of Jesus. Your grace, Lord. And your mercy, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Here is what I want you to do now. Ask in your group, among those seven items mentioned there, is there any one of us 
that suffers from broken relationship in those areas. If they lift up their hand, then collectively pray for them. You may not want to ask, but just pray for them. Right? In these groups, all these groups, if you are suffering broken relationships, lift up your hand. They will pray for you. They will all come in your group. Okay? Lift up your hand. I see a hand here. So you are praying for her. Get into the center, ma'am. Get into the center. If you are suffering broken relationship in these areas, they will pray for you. He's in the center. Yep. Yeah. Here, not, not, none of you. Ah, you must be perfect, isn't it? Mm -mm. All right, there is one there. Broken relationship. Is there any broken relationship here? Nobody. Okay. But continue, therefore, to pray and cover others. Where is the broken relationship? Who has? Oh, all of you have broken. Right, group here. All these have broken relationship. Can you surround them and pray for them? Please. Mm. Broken relationship. What about you? Come in the center, please. And they'll pray for you. What about here? All of you. <laughs> okay. All these. One, two, three. All right. Pray for them. Pray for them, please. Here. Yeah. Pray for her. Let's pray. We are releasing the healing and the grace. You are praying too. Healing anointing. Restoration anointing. Upon these broken relationships. Heal and mend. Heal and restore in the name of Jesus. Let it be so, God. Let the healing anointing touch and mend in the name of Jesus. Touch and restore. Touch and make whole. God, we declare it. We speak it in the name of Jesus. We release the healing anointing. You are the balm of Gilead, Lord. Touch, heal, and restore. Restore in the, areas of, in the areas of parents' relationships. In the areas of leaders' relationships, siblings, relatives, other church members, workmates. We are asking, Lord, that you will restore. Restore, Lord. Restore. Touch and mend and make whole. That's our prayer today. In the name of Jesus, say amen with me. All right, go back to your groups now. Let's deal with number, number three. Is that number three? We did, what, what were we doing? Yeah, number three. Oh, what's going on here? Mm. All right, the backslider and heart shall be full of his own troubles. Yeah, his own troubles. There is no peace to the wicked says God. In this one, let's pray for the church, our church here. There are many people that have many, many troubles. Let's pray that God will heal. Let's pray God will intervene and assist them. Shall we pray for the church? Father, here we are. We are praying for the church. We are praying for those, Lord, that have troubles. Many, many troubles. Small troubles, medium-sized troubles, big troubles. We are asking, Lord, that you will undertake. Be the burden bearer. Be the one that will lift them up. Be the one that will assist them in the name of Jesus. Great grace upon their lives. Great mercy over their lives, Lord. Do it for them. Do it for them. We know you do a new thing. We do a new thing. In the name of Jesus, do it, Lord, for them. Great grace and great mercy. In the name of Jesus, be our bed and bearer in this church. Dear God, miraculously intervene in the lives of your people as you lift them up in Jesus' mighty name. As you lift them up in the name of Jesus, do it for them, Lord that their joy may be full in Jesus' name. Number four, disappointments. Disappointments, disappointments, disappointments. The backslider will be full of disappointment. Pray and ask God to lift you up from all forms of disappointments. Shall we pray for ourselves today if you are full of these disappointments? Dear God, 
We ask that you deliver us from all manner of disappointments. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God, that indeed you will help us. Lift us up. Set us free. Deliver us from all forms of disappointments. That's our prayer today. That's our cry today. Deliver us, Lord, from all manner of disappointments. Set us free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. And thank you, Lord, for your message today. In Jesus' name. Number five. Ask among your group members there how many have tempers, short temper, and anger issues. Explosive, uncontrollable anger and anger issues. If they find one or two, put them in the center. Don't even ask where it came from. They just need prayer. Okay, there's anger issues there. There's anger issues there. It's all right, ma'am. Confess it, it will disappear. Anger issues here? Yeah, get in, you get in the center. Anger issues here, Sharon, anger issues come through in the center. I know you do have some. Mm -hmm. Anger issues here, Doc, <laughs> they say it's you, Doc. Uh, get in the center, Doc. Close it. Oh, is there? Close them in. Close them in. Anger issues, is there anything? No. Okay. All right. I want you to pray for these people that have anger issues. And ask that God's hand will touch them. Anger issues? Who's, who's the hair? Oh, you too. Okay. <laughs> Not you, ma'am. Not you, sissy. Mm. Not you, ma'am. Okay. All right. Pray for them too. Mm. Let's pray. Let's pray. Pray, pray, pray with authority over that spirit of anger. Father, we take authority over the spirit of anger. Uncontrollable tempers. We break its hold today in the name of Jesus. These men and women are delivered now in Jesus' name. Deliverance is their portion. We declare it today in Jesus' mighty name. Set them free. Deliver them in the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of anger. We know you to be a spirit of destruction. You have no part. We kiss you, we kiss your hold over their lives. They are set free today in Jesus' mighty name. We take authority over that spirit. We break its hold in the name of Jesus. They are set free today in Jesus' mighty name. Say amen with me. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. In the next five minutes, we are collecting an offering and going home. Yeah. I have envelopes here. Can I invite you all to come and collect envelopes as we give our offerings today? It's good to be a giver, always. Thank you, Baba Tsepo. May the anger issues go and never come back.
Every valley. 